This segment is called Youth Talk. So we're going to hear from Ono. It's not a long, it's about five or so minutes. Just going to be asking them a few questions about this ministry, how they got involved, what their passions are, how are they living in purity and in power. So they are representing you right now. Um, uh, who is who is Shannon? Shannon and Chadwick. Who is Chadwick? Not here. Who is Chadwick? Is Chadwick here? No. Tyrone. Who is Tyrone? No. Troy. Oh, this is Troy. Anesta. Okay, Anesta and Devaro. Devaro, and you are my brother. Theodore, okay, all right. I'm just going to be posing some questions to them and hear their views on these questions. Um, how long have you been involved in Passion and Purity, Gavio? How long have you been involved in the Ministry of Passion and Purity? Um, first, first, let me say good afternoon to everyone. Take it down, take it down. Um, I am a proud member of this movement, Passion and Purity. And first, let me say, passion and purity has really changed my life. It has helped me to come out of my shell because I was a very shy girl. Um, it helped me through prayer. And we have a cell group in Manchester. And we try to meet and have outreach programs. Last mm -hmm. December, we went to the Hanbury Children Home to do an outreach. And we're planning to go back this year, God's willing. So, so you guys are doing stuff. Yes, the yeah. Manchester Cell Group, with the help of Auntie Jackie and Uncle Jake, All our right. regional coordinators. Yes, yes, thank you. Thank you, Gavia. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Anesta, what do you do? Uh, what are some of the things you do in the Ministry of Passion and Purity? And what does it mean to you? What does this ministry mean to you? Okay, well, um, good afternoon, everyone. Um, I am a member of the praise and worship team. Okay. Um, I'm also a member of the intercessors group. Um, basically, what I do is not just worship here, lead worship here, but we also bond together as a worship team. And a lot of the conferences that, you know, that we have, it's actually the intercessors who basically pray through so that it will be a successful one. Yes. So, um... What passion and purity means to me. Yeah. Hmm. Um, to be honest, one of the one of the themes that has guided my life is the whole the whole um, idea of living a holy walk, of, yeah. of walking holy. And for me, passion and purity is just like living out what I what all that I believe about God, which is walking holy. And so for me, passion and purity basically is is like a guide for young people and not just for young people but for older persons it's like a guide that you can use to, to have a successful christian walk amen 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 praise god i'm gonna ask theodore um theodore what is your passion and how are you living out this passion bless the lord all right um good afternoon again um actually the new appointed deputy head boy of this noble institution and the president of ISAF. All right. Um, what is my passion? All right. My passion is I love to encourage people. I believe that people have this view that Christianity is boring. And I'm the person that is actually fun. And I love God. And I believe that God is fun and that God gives jokes. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. And so. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He sits in heaven and laughs, he says. Right. I believe that God is a God of humor. And my passion, I love to encourage people. I yeah. love people who even um, judge me and persecute me. I turn around sometimes and go to them and say, you know, you need to do your schoolwork. You need to pay attention. You know, involve God in your life, you know. Um, I love, that's my passion. I love to encourage people. I love to see happy faces. That yeah. is me. I don't like to see when somebody's down. I like to see people who are smiling. That I don't like thinking about myself. I like to see when people are happy. Yeah. That's really my passion. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Thank you. And Troy, um, what is your passion? 
Troy, what is your passion? And how did you discover this passion? How did you know that it's, it's, it's your passion? Uh, well, uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, what I have to say, my passion really is anything around computers, but more so software. Computers, you said? Yeah, okay. yeah. More so software engineering. How did I find this? Well, uh, I found myself finding work around the computer even when there was none. I would just, you know, sit around this machine, just trying to figure out, you know, how it works. Yeah. Yeah. So that was really how I developed it. And, uh, well, from basically the first time I saw a computer, I fell in love with a computer. <laughs> I've always been, I've always wanted to be up to date with, you know, the newest technologies and, you know. You're not yeah. having an engagement party soon. You're not having an engagement party soon. No. You say you fell in love with a computer, you know? <laughs> it's running on at you. No. All right, continue. But, yeah, that's just basically it. And uh, one more thing was that I was not so fascinated with, like, say, the computer itself, but I just always wanted to, you know, know how it works, the software right. is behind it, you know? I'm just always trying to figure out how things work more than just see how they work and, and, and you spend time you spend time developing this passion of course well yeah 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 very good very good thank you Troy Shannon I'm gonna be asking Shannon um, tell me how do you maintain your purity um, when there are so many impure influences around you how do you maintain your purity good afternoon everyone for me it it is a challenge Especially now that I'm in college and I'm the youngest in my class and I'm hearing What are you doing serving God when you're not and there's the building to go on all of those clubs and whatever But for me from I was small I remember when my mother sent me to children church I went the first day and I came back because I realized that this was not for me. I was not into the children thing So I always um, I'm always around older persons most of my friends are married and stuff like that So they encourage me as well and sometimes I realize that if you want help, yeah. you should not be afraid. Don't uh, be, and if you ask God to show you the source where to obtain that help, he will direct you to that source. Sometimes it will mean that in the middle of the night, you're going to have to get up and run up the steps and whatever, just so <laughs> as not to give in to this pressure. So um, whatever you have to do, you just have to do it. And if yeah. you ask God, because God said if you, you should ask and it shall be given unto yeah. you. And he does not only mean the physical things. Whatever it is that you ask, you will give it unto you. So if you say, God, I commit my body to you and I want to keep my body pure, he will help you to keep your body pure. And you will find persons who will help you along the way to do that. So for me, I surround myself with positive persons, positive persons who yes. are much older than myself. Yeah. I always say that, you know, if you're going in one direction, find persons who are going in that direction. That's if it's a good direction. Definitely. And so if you want to live a holy life, find persons and hang around those who have that same passion and that same desire, and they will build you. I'm going to be asking you, uh, what is your passion, Devaro? My passion is basically building agents of change. Agents right. of change meaning... They hear them, they hear them together. <laughs> agents of change meaning positively... Positive agents of change. Um, I am the president of the ISA for Ulmer's Boys, and I basically go to mentoring sessions just to teach myself so I can teach others and how to build and grow in your wow. Christian life. Wow. And, uh, I have personally sent myself to many leadership seminars uh, just to get education. Right, and with this education, I pass it on with the fellow students at school and pass it on to anyone that needs the education through the email and by general everyday conversations with uh, each other. All right. Very good. Very good. Very good. Put your hands together for them all. Just, just two seconds or three seconds. Just give a final word of encouragement to your fellow peers. Starting with Shannon. saying to us it pays to live for God and there is nothing that we ask of God that he will not give unto us because he says that nothing good will he withhold from them that are that walk uprightly with him so it, when he says ask of him it no, no, doesn't only mean physical thing whatever it is whatever struggle ask him for strength he will give you the strength serve God don't play with God God ramp rough that's not few words <laughs> amen